everyone, this is Anna McGovern, Chief Presenter of Vox Populi, and today I'm here with Ben Weller, who is part of the Society for the Protection of Unborn Children. So firstly, tell me, why are you handcuffed, Ben? Well, thankfully I've not actually been arrested. <laughs> as of today, in this country, people can be arrested simply for praying outside of abortion clinics, for expressing their view on abortion outside mm. of abortion clinics, and for offering help to women and trying to save their children. Mm. So why are you pro-life? I'm pro-life because life starts at conception. 98% of embryologists believe it, so do I, it's the science. Mm. And I think that if you kill an innocent human life, there's something very wrong mm. that needs mm. to be addressed there. Mm. And it is a great injustice and people are quiet about it. So I'm here today with the other wonderful people that were here as a witness to that injustice and to say that we want to dance on that injustice and we want to destroy it. So what are you hoping to achieve after the demonstration today? Well, hopefully some people have just seen that there are people of all different ages, all different creeds, all different genders, mm. well, of the two, mm -hmm. um, that are here to say that they are not happy with the way this country is going. And they are not happy with the way that abortion is enshrined as a right in this country. And really, it should be wiped off mm. of this country's statute book. So what would you say to the argument from potentially like a pro-choice person that a woman doesn't have a choice when she gets pregnant and she feels that she has to have an abortion? What would you say to that argument? Well, I'd say firstly today we're here to talk about buffer zones and if you believe in free speech, you mm. should not believe in these buffer zones. You know, you can be pro-choice or pro-life, but if you believe people should be able to put their opinion across, mm. then you should not believe in these mm. ghastly things. And to a woman who says that she has no choice when she is pregnant, to her I say, Firstly, motherhood is beautiful and that women are strong enough to be mothers and women are powerful and they should be embodied and empowered to you know, do that, to be the mothers that they are supposed to be. Um, and when they say there is no choice to that, I say they can raise their child and love their child. Or if they really can't do that, there is always adoption waiting for them. There is no situation where you have to kill your child to get the perfect result. Mm. So do you think the abortion buff is coming into force today, do you think that sets a dangerous precedent for free speech? It does set a dangerous precedent for free speech and I think we're seeing, as we do with most free speech cases, that people are going, well it doesn't affect me so I'm going to be quiet about it. But as of all free speech cases, they affect a, minor a, a minority first, mm. but it never stops there. Brilliant. Thank you Ben, I hope you get unhandcuffed soon. <laughs> Thank you.